Alrighty, I got the drink. I got everything set up. Why? Because we're about to wish upon a star. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you are clicking on one of my videos, let me introduce myself. Hi, my name is Liz and I bundle a bunch of different content onto my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy. We are going to be talking about Disney today. Let's talk about the first big announcement. Um, masks are no longer allowed while you are outside in the parks. You still need your mask if you are in a queue, in a restaurant, in a, um, what is the word? Shop. Any of those places is where you need a mask, but if you're just walking around like the hub area by yourself or in a group of people, you no longer need a mask. Um, but please don't be one of those people who ask people who are still wearing a mask that, you know, don't be one of those people who go up to them saying, hey, you don't have to wear a mask anymore. People are going to have different levels of comf comfortability. Um, some people might still want to wear a mask. Some people might not. So just be kind. Just be nice. Especially be kind to the cast members at this time because... I'm sure all the new rules are completely mind-boggling them. They also have to still wear a mask, but to see other people that don't, um, it, it's just, oh my gosh, my heart goes out to those cast members. So please, just be kind, curious, and show the cast members the respect and love they deserve. And, yeah. So that's the new rule. But also the other big announcement is that, yay! Disney Paris or Disneyland Paris or what, whatever it's called. No, that's not right. Disneyland Paris Park is officially reopening on June 17th and I am so happy. That's like one of the parks that, oh gosh, is that like one of the last, no, I because I haven't heard anything of Hong Kong or um, Shanghai Disney. I haven't heard anything about those. So I don't, so I don't know if it's one of the last parks to open. I don't think that's correct. But anyway, I'm so, I have very many people on Instagram that I follow who are like a, um, pass holders or Disneyland Paris Park is their park. So I am so happy for them. And Disneyland Paris is literally one of the other parks that I would absolutely love to visit. So anyway, uh, we are just going to be talking about all Disney today and in celebration with the reopening announcement I wanted to talk about D Disney Park Vlogs put out a trailer of the new hotel that's coming out so I wanted to watch that and let's get into it. Alrighty, ready? Three, two, one, play. As always in all of my videos I will be putting the uninterrupted videos in the description box down below. Ready? Three, two, one, play. Ooh, shiny. My name is Chilan Hamill, and I'm the general manager of Disney's Hotel New York, The Arts of Marvel. As you can see, today I'm wearing construction equipment. We are still doing a lot of different things in the hallways, in the rooms, in the public areas, in the restaurants, but I just, I couldn't wait to show you. So I wanted to invite you Ooh. in to see you still on your construction Pretty. and give you a sneak peek of what's going on. I'm very excited to introduce you to Tom Mueller. He works for WDI Paris, and he will share with you some wonderful secrets about the design and some of the behind the scenes. Disney's Hotel New York, The Art of Marvel, everything's in a title. We actually did such a clever mix, really a fusion of all the codes that are related to New York and nice. all the codes that are related to the Marvel Universe and just tried to combine everything in order to create the best experience ever for the guests. Love it. There is such a great array of artwork on display in the bedroom. There is in total 471 superior rooms in the hotel and all the bedrooms and suites included 561 rooms in total. And for all those rooms, we actually produced, printed and framed over 1,400 pieces of art that are actually hanged on the walls. Nice. Pretty. Love it. I love the bedside the tables with the lamps. The restaurant lamps. is the place in the hotel where you should find the most artwork per square meter. Love that. the most obvious characters like Spider-Man, Iron Man, Black Panther, Black Widow, 
There are also some fan favorites like Elektra, She-Hulk, Miss Marvel, The Punisher, Groot, and so on. And we really have some pieces by iconic Marvel artists like Jack Kirby, Steve Ditko, and more recent ones like Scott Young. Nice. And now you are in for a treat. Oh Welcome my god, look at that. Welcome to Manhattan Restaurant, <gasps> which is a very elegant and contemporary restaurant that is the best place to relax, recharge, and enjoy the best Italian dishes around after a super day at Disneyland Paris. God, I... The central piece of this... I have been to New York. Uh, I, I talk about that. I've talked about that trip in my some of my other videos, but... Man, that looks exactly like New York. This restaurant is a stunning lead sculpture, and I it is actually that. made of 255 elements, and they've all been individually made out of hand-blown crystal. Wow. You can either see an upside-down skyline of Manhattan, or even Asgard, which is the home planet of Thor. Oh, that's cool! Merci Thomas, je prends le relais et je vous emmène avec moi à la Super Hero Station. Je m'appelle Julia Zani Whitening et je suis productrice déléguée à Disneyland Paris. La Super Hero Station, c'est un lieu totalement unique et inédit dans tous les résorts de Disney. C'est un lieu où on va pouvoir présenter à nos visiteurs deux types d'expériences complètement nouvelles. La première, ce sont les Marvel Photo Stations qui sont des points photo totalement immersifs avec des décors nice. en fauteuil. Nos guests vont pouvoir se prendre oh, cool. dans différents oh, univers. Oh, that looks on a so awesome! sont des visuels hyper instagrammables et qu'on a vraiment hâte de vous faire découvrir. Instagrammable. La première des stations, elle est inspirée de l'univers des gardiens de la galaxie. On va vous emmener avec nous dans la collection du collectionneur et vous allez pouvoir faire comme si vous étiez une créature précieuse de l'hyperespace. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Dans la photo station de Thor, vous allez trouver le marteau de ce super héros. Nice. Ça sera à votre tour de tester si vous êtes digne de pouvoir le soulever. Nous vous emmenons ensuite en plein cœur de la bataille de Endgame. Vous allez passer à travers un portail de Doctor Strange oh, pour aller so cool. aux Avengers contre Thanos. La deuxième expérience, c'est que nos visiteurs vont avoir la chance de pouvoir rencontrer un super-héros Marvel. Et on est très heureux d'accueillir ici Spider-Man. Oh, hey, Spider-Man C'est trop cool que tu sois là On peut prendre une photo Nice. Trop bien, merci That's so cool. Oh, cool Oh my god, love it. Oh, wow. That looks so good. Oh, again, that looks so flipping good. Wow. Um, Y'all know, I'm not a big Marvel fan. My friend's the Marvel fan out of the two of us. I'm the DC girl. I, I'm okay with Marvel. I just don't flipping care anymore. <laughs> I just can't. But that looked really cool, and I do love Disney hotels where... You know, you can, you can go to the hotel and you, you get that you're in a Disney place, but you know, it's minimal theming. So like the room just looks cool and there's just one or two art pieces of Marvel. The rest of the room doesn't have a Marvel theme to it, but I, that, so that was cool. I love the, um, the, uh, hand-drawn in the lobby. That was really cool. All right. So the other thing I really wanted to talk about today was, uh, because, I didn't talk about it when it like first came out. I kind of like missed everything, but I really want there's another new video out about the Disney Wish. You know, y'all know me. Disney Cruise Line was one of my favorite vacations before this COVID mess. And uh so there's a new video out about the Disney Wish and I wanted to watch it. So let's go ahead and jump into that and I'll talk about that as we go. From the minute you walk onto the Disney Wish, you're going to be transported to this magical, enchanted world. We no, want to take the guest into this beautiful fantasy realm on the sea. Oh, As you explore around. the ship and you go to your stateroom, the stories that are infused in the ah! design itself gives everybody the opportunity to feel magical, to believe that dreams can come true. Oh, we oh, want wow. the stateroom wow. to feel like a home away from home. And this is our Disney Wish. Disney Wish has a suite in the funnel. You can actually spend the night in the funnel of one of our ships. <gasps> what? The Wish Tower Suite is inside of the funnel. Oh my god! the upper decks with absolutely incredible views. I'm so sure! It's a highly elevated 
design space that oh that's where that's going wow that evocative of the feeling of the film moana oh we so cool two master bedrooms inside the wish tower suite <laughs> we have a children's room oh, with oh, bunk beds. we have a library which can be turned into another bedroom wow you can compare it to the suite that's in the castle at the magic kingdom it's unique and it's going to be definitely something to see. And a the pretty magic penny. Of Disney storytelling is taken to new levels in our suites. The Disney Wish will debut four royal suites. Two wow. of them are two story level suites That's inspired by Sleeping Beauty. Wow. In our concierge suites, we have tangled inspired rooms, beautiful tangled shapes, and the flora and the fauna, deep wood tones. That's something we're so excited to bring to the guests. And now we're incorporating seven Little Mermaid suites for the ceiling angled windows. You have this amazing view facing the front of the ship. We've also expanded our concierge lounge considerably. We wow. have indoor and outdoor seating all the way forward. Guests are truly going to feel like they're in a spectacular location oh. overlooking the ocean. Wow. No. Oh, okay. Our staterooms on our Disney Wish ship are really designed with families in mind. This beautiful blend between wow. functionality and whimsy and joy and enchantment. We have many subtle details that bring everything to life and it celebrates the iconic Disney movies literally like a magic spell. Wow. We've taken great care to make sure that the space has just enough magic, but also feels restful. You definitely want it to feel comfortable, cozy, a place of refuge. It's just as important as any of the other venues on the ship. I see a lot, though, that in most of these staterooms, they don't have... So, uh, li like, if I'm pausing on this view right here, like, usually right here, there's this little... Um, it was this little bench box thing that opened up and it you could use it as like a, a footrest or you know just the coffee table or whatever but it it was op it opened up and you could put a suitcase in there but i don't i haven't seen that once and i guess i guess be they were just not using them anymore but i but yeah all right that's okay the accommodations aboard the Disney Wish are really beautiful and are so narratively rich and love something that. that we as a team are so excited and proud to share with our guests. As an Imagineer, I think that's what makes it all worth it when you see the reactions and the guests walk in for the first time and throughout the whole cruise, they're just so excited to see all the new things on the Disney Wish. Mm -hmm. From the Grand Hall all the way to our state rooms, we want every single guest to have that sense of enchantment and I can't wait for the guests to see it when they step on board the Disney Wish. Awesome. Um, the one thing I have, Disney, is that uh, I, I hope in those curtains uh, you put magnets because the walls of your stateroom are made of metal because it's a ship, right? And so... <laughs> So, uh, as I was saying in the beginning of this, and before I started playing this, um, when I went on the, when I went on my Disney cruise, I went on the Disney Dream. We were only there for like three days, it was hurricane season, so we didn't get to do much, but it was still, uh, like I said, it's still one of the best vacations I have ever had. <clears throat> um, but the thing is, is that, always talk to your, um, I believe it's, uh, there's a person, the, the thing about the Disney Cruise is that, uh, each restaurant you go to, it's the same person serving you. So they learn all your habits. They learn what you like. They can offer recommendations, things like that. But you can also tell them suggestions of what you think would make the ship, the your room, the dining, anything of anything better. So like I was telling, uh, any anytime I got to talk to the guy, I was telling him, look, the walls of the stateroom are made of metal, so in the curtains, why don't you all put a line of magnets, and that way the curtain stays, you know? Like, it, it sticks to the side of the walls, and it actually, you know, like, doesn't let in light, anything like that. So, like, one person could still be sleeping, and you can, you can get into the bathroom, because when you open up the door to the bathroom, the, the light comes on, and that can shine through those curtains, because they're not 
So anyway, I'm just saying, I hope on the Disney wish they, they made that, they like heard that suggestion enough that on the, on the curtains, there's like a line of magnets and it just sticks to the side of the walls. It would make sense, wouldn't it? But anyway, man, that looks amazing. Um, I am not anywhere near thinking that I'm going to go on the maiden voyage or anything like that. Uh, it, it'll be a few years before I even think about going back on a cruise because I know with my comfortable level, I'm not ready to get back to normal without a mask or anything of that nature. I'm not ready to be in a, on a thing oh, stuck with other people, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's all I have to say for right now, and I shall leave you all with that. If you all have liked this video, please hit that like button because it helps out this channel in several ways. I do weekly videos, so also hit that subscribe button. I personally never care about the notification bell. I suggest following me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr in that order because that is where I will be posting what I will be doing next. If you wish to support this channel in any way, I have a buy me a coffee in the description box down below. If you have liked this review, I have other reviews here and here. I hope you all have a great rest of the week and I shall see y'all in the next video. Bye!